Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Americans have spoken. The NFL has just received the worst news of the league. Here is some good news for all patriotic Americans out there. It seems the NFL's primetime numbers once again suffered greatly according to Breitbart News. During the opener this week, and after seeing the numbers garnered by Monday Night Football, it's starting to look like there is no change in the trend ending anytime soon. Here is what the assistant editor at Sports Business Daily, Austin Karp, had to say about the numbers. Austin Karp Jets-Lions is lowest early window MNF opener in at least a dozen years. Blowouts never good. Rams-Raiders is flat compared to Chargers-Broncos last year in late window. Here is more on this via Deadline Hollywood. The much-touted new defense of the Los Angeles Rams wasn't quite all that in a bag of chips, but the Rams' 33-13 victory over the Raiders in the later game was certainly convincing. With new team members in the broadcast booth for the Disney-owned sports cabler, that West Coast matchup followed the Lions taking a 48-17 pounding at the hands of the New York Jets. The start of the 49th season of MNF and ESPN took a small ratings hit last night compared with incomplete early numbers last year. That's a hard fact for the NFL coming after Thursday's 2018-2019 kickoff game on NBC fell to a near-decade viewership low and Sunday night football stumbled in its season premiere. With a 7.5-metered market result for the Jets-Lions and a 7.0 in the early metrics for Rams-Raiders, last night's MNF season opener slipped 4% from the doubleheader of September 11, 2017. That doubleheader was down double digits from the 2016 opener, which was down hard from the year before. While at first glance the difference between this year and 2017 might seem small, it is important to remember because of Hurricane Irma last year not all markets reported in with early numbers. So. The results for the Minnesota Vikings 29-19 win over the New Orleans Saints and the Denver Broncos 24-21 victory over the Los Angeles Chargers were based on only 48 of the usual 56 markets that make up the first round of ratings. It means the ratings decline for this year might be more in line with the overall sagging response the NFL and its various broadcasters have seen the past couple of years. Still, it seems pretty clear ESPN will win Monday on all of TV even with the likes of Bachelor in Paradise on ABC and the season finale of American Ninja Warrior on NBC. Of course, ABC stations in LA, Detroit and San Francisco all carried the NFL games, as did the CW in New York. Next week's MNF sees the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Chicago Bears in the Windy City. While we wait for that, here's a stat or two for you. The Jets-Lions game Monday peaked with a strong 9.0 rating in the 9.30 to 9.45 p.m. ET time period, and the Rams-Raiders topped out with an 8.7 in the 10.45 to 11 p.m. ET slot. And today, on the 17th anniversary of the attacks of 9-11, take a moment to remember and respect those we lost that day and since. All this is even worse if you consider that the late game featured a major team from Los Angeles. Gruden's return and the fact that the game is said to have been pretty good since both teams were tied 13-13 as they reached the third quarter. And of course, President Trump chimed in on the crashing ratings of a sport that's close to being on life support. The ungrateful ball tossers in the NFL never dreamed that the fans would turn off their TVs and stop buying their tickets. But that's what's happening here. And the best part is that since most of these guys are barely literate and don't understand economics they can't really understand that sooner or later their own pocketbooks will be taking a hit. And when that happens they will be asking us fans to please return and they will be standing taller for the national anthem than ever before. Because you see, all this from the beginning was a temper tantrum from a player who was benched for plainly enough, not being a very good player. Sure our country isn't perfect, but it's the best ever known to man. And it's the one who is dumb enough to pay a bunch of ball tossing ingrates an average of 2.5 million a year to do what most people would gladly do as a hobby throw around a damn ball. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.